Good afternoon, everybody. It's Taco Tuesday. And guess what I'm making today? I'm making tacos. So stay with me and we'll get started. Okay, so what I'm going to get started with is when I'm doing Taco Tuesday, I like to start with cutting up my vegetables first. And because we're going to be doing a certain kind of taco, instead of using lettuce, I am using cabbage. So I'm going to cut my cabbage up and get it all shredded and ready to go. I've already washed it. So there it is. It's all shredded and ready. Let's put it over in the bowl. And then my tomatoes. Tomatoes are next. And I always cut off that little part right there because I don't like it. So I'm going to take my tomatoes. Get them all cut up like so. Get them in the bowl. And then once I finish with this, I'll be back. Okay, so I've cut my tomatoes up. And what I'm going to get ready to do now is to work on my onion. And I'm going to do probably more onion only because I'm going to put, put some into my meat that I'm cooking. But yet and still I'm going to save some to have as fresh on my tacos. Just cut up and then I'll have some left for another time. So I'm going to put those in there like so. And then next, okay, so I've cut up my onion. This is my cilantro. So I'm going to take my cilantro and I'm going to dice it, slice it, so that it's ready to go on the tacos also. And usually I make tacos with corn tortillas, but I had some leftover fresh flour tortillas. And I'm going to make these with. And you know what? As a matter of fact, I kind of ran into this recipe online. And it looked pretty good. So I might just try that one. So these are my chili peppers. And these I'm going to toast on the stove. So that they get a nice toastiness to them. So I shall be back. Okay. So I have my pan for my skillet. And my pan for my chilies because you can't eat jalapenos and not toast them. So I'm gonna spray a little cooking spray in here just in case they decide to stick. And I'm going to take my chilies that's been washed and just toss them in there and let them do their thing. Just like that. So to this pan, I'm going to add my meat that I've already um, diced up. I'm just going to let it spread out and cook. And then to that, I'm going to add some minced garlic. I like the garlic juice, really. Minced garlic, and I like lots of garlic. So, I'm going to put that over there. And then those onions, extra onions that I cut up, I'm going to put some of those in here also. Just to capture the uh, taste of the meat. And in the meantime, I pepper it over here just roasting. And then this is going to cook on its own. And I'm just going to do it as if they would do it in the restaurant until it um, makes its own juices and cooks itself. So, while that's cooking. That cook. Okay, as you can see, my meat is starting to cook. I'm just going to let it simmer and cook until it cooks down. And then my green peppers over here are starting to toast. They're getting real charred, and that's all I want to I think I'm going to make a salsa out of it. So let's just get these peppers toasted. Try to get them toasted on each side. 
And anytime you have cast iron, it works perfectly for doing this because it's almost like grilling it. So I'm just gonna let my meat sit here and cook until it gets real nice and tender. We don't want no tough tacos. Okay, so my meat is done. And what I'm going to do is pour it into my bowl and then put it into the microwave to set so that I can cook my other things. I wish you could smell this. It smells so delicious. And you know your meat is done because I'm using a wooden spoon and I can cut through my meat with a wooden spoon and I don't have to struggle to cut it, it just automatically cuts. Get this put away because there's many more layers to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started making my chili. And you know what? I roasted my peppers and I also roasted some onions. I grilled my tomato. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tomato and cut it up in the bowl. And it has been grilled. It's not like making your own chili, I'll tell you. If you ever want to do it, you won't want that store-bought stuff anymore. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my onions to that. And then I'm gonna take, these are my chilies that I roasted and see how they have the burnt mark on it? That's like easy to peel off. You just kind of scrape that off into a plate. Like so. And then you cut your end off of your chili. And if you want at this point, you could take out the seeds because the seeds is where your heat, the seeds in that vein is where your heat is. So put those in there. And I'm gonna put this one in here. Get that vein out. Because I want it to be spicy, but I don't want it to be too spicy. So here's my other chili. I'm gonna scrape that uh, burnt part off. Like so. And scrape this part off, like so. And then what I'm going to do is, like I did the other one, I'm cut the end off. For me, the chili's got to the seeds in a jalapeno. I like jalapenos, but I don't want it too hot. I like hot food, but I don't like it so hot that I can't taste it. When it gets that hot, then it's too hot. So, what I'm gonna do with my jar, which is the way my mom used to make it, she'd take a jar and she'd just squish. And just squish her stuff like this until it all squished together. And what it does is it turns juicy. I could also put the I could also put this into the uh, food processor. So I'm gonna squash this up and then I'll be back with you. Okay, so I've got my chili all made right here and I'm gonna put it in here so when I get ready for it, I have it. I've added a little um, salt for the taste and I've got my beans cooking and I'm gonna get ready to get this all cleaned up and Very good too. Okay, so this is gonna be a whole different taco versus the crunchies. So I'm gonna put a little butter into the skillet, like so. And these are those tortillas that I made the other day. Well, actually these aren't. I made another batch because I ate those. So these are tortillas I made the other day. What I'm gonna do is find the one I wanna use. This is getting hot. So 
So I'm going to put this on just to let it kind of um, toast a little bit to get hot so that I can add my other stuff to it. So like while, that, while that's toasting on this side, I'm going to turn it so I get a little, because what I'm going to do is crisp up this tortilla. And what happened is, is I saw this recipe on a show that was on TV. And I thought, you know what? I think I'm gonna try that. So to this, I'm going to add a scoop of beans, which you don't put a lot. You just put a little bit, just enough to see that one there. Okay. So while that's toasting, I'm gonna to add my cheese. Hold on, I'm gonna do my cheese. Okay, so what I'm doing, this is the Mexican cheese that you crumble on. So I crumbled it up. And I'm putting it onto my taco. And then to that, I'm gonna add some shredded cabbage, some tomato, and some cilantro, and a little bit of piece of onion. There. So that's all ready to go. So while that's toasting, let's go ahead and just like that. I'm let it toast. And what I'm going to do is get it kind of, um, what I said, crunchy. That's what I want this to do. Wanted to crunch. Okay. okay, so I'm about to ready to take this off. I'm gonna turn this off because I'm only gonna make one at a time. And it's very, very crunchy. And it's a homemade tortilla. So let's just leave this here. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try this taco. I have a bottle of water just in case I need it, because sometimes hot gets hot. And I'm going to open up my chili that I made. And this is my taco. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to add some of this chili to it. Being careful not to add too much. Like so. And then I'm going to give it a taste. Let's see what we got here. Mmm. That is so good. It really takes a different um, taste on your regular taco. I like the idea of the um, flour tortilla crisp up like this. Mmm. The cabbage is nice and fresh. The cheese is melted. And you know what? The salsa is not too salt, not too um, hot. Like it's just right. So, this is a definite yes for me. I love tacos. It don't have to be a taco Tuesday for me to eat a taco. I eat them every day. So, I'm trying to get my camera to go straight. So anyway. Let's take another bite. Mmm. And the beans give it's just enough. Mmm. That's delicious. So, thank you for watching this video. Be on the lookout for more. But I wanted to jump on here and do this Taco Tuesday since it is Taco Tuesday. So, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about it. I'm trying to get up to at least 100 subscribers, but that will come with time. So, enjoy your Taco Tuesday.